The majority of how I've been feeling this whole time is really overwhelming sense of peace. And I didn't expect that. I think I prayed a lot for it, not expecting that it would happen, but I feel like God works that way. He like, you know, does the things that you ask him to if it's gonna glorify him. And so we were just like friends. We had met each other on Twitter. He slid into my DMs, I gave him my number. Uh, it seems like how us millennials meet each other nowadays. <laughs> We are so anxious and excited um, because we know that you are here and you are present. Lord, we just thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you more than anything for glorifying these prayers that Chelsea and Nick each separately have prayed for all these years and that you have brought them together. Nick's boldness to just like share the gospel with people has been the first thing that's attracted me to him. He's really, really attractive. <laughs> I want to remember that this day is just the start of something even more beautiful and the love that I'll continue to grow in. You know, God calls us to marriage and a wedding is just like the celebration of it and just the establishment of it. And I want to remember that the hard times, good times, and like anything that's sent our way that we just embrace it fully. I'm freaking. He's freaking out. Not freaking, but he's like, you know how he was last night? Yeah. Well, I think he's better today. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's so nervous. Oh, yeah. 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 when I was 15, me and Nick met. He comes up to me and he goes, can we talk about like my relationship right now? And I was like, I guess. <laughs> and I can tell you that from the first day that he met you at some burger place in like the south of Atlanta, when we'd gone to the wrong spot the first time and I had to give him a 10 minute pep talk just to get out of the truck, after many drafted and deleted, drafted and deleted text messages, FaceTime calls, phone calls, he's like, man, we're finally gonna meet her. And I'm like, you got it, man, let's go. And then he's like, I can't do it. And I'm like, we just went over this, I don't know. And so we give him the pep talk again. And then, you know, they hit it off right out of the gate and she was as sweet as can be. Nick's brother, the better looking one. Um, if you know me and Nick, we have nothing in common since they first started talking and he brought her over and we met her and we love her. My parents love her. We all love her. We're so happy for y'all. When Nick moved away from home, it he couldn't wait to leave our small town where we're from the way he talks to people and the people he meets. And I knew he would go and do great things and they're gonna do great things together. And I wish them all the best. Love y'all. Congratulations, you guys. Um, you're both fantastic and amazing people. And I wish you all the best and many more years to come. What you got for me, John? Okay, so. Love doesn't keep a record of wrongs, but it does keep a record of rights. And so you're entering into the greatest competition of your entire life, where every day is an opportunity to outserve one another. And it ought to be your goal every single day to win one apart. Chelsea.
also eat your dad. Come, come in. I've had like a vision in my head of like that moment where I walk down the aisle and Nick is there and it's almost like everyone around us is gone and it's just us. I feel like that's how Jesus thinks of us. It's like, I am short of breath standing next to you. You're my cherished child and I love you and for you, like your mistakes, your flaws, all of that. I am out of my death at this altitude. And I think marriage is like the ultimate picture of that, so I just feel really blessed to have that. <laughs> like, like the world makes sense from your window to see. I promise to love you and only you faithfully. I promise to protect your heart in success and in failure. I'm short of breath standing next to you. Nick, you're an answer to many prayers I've prayed since I was a little girl. I'll be the dangerous let you be. I promise to listen to you intently and to nurture your every dream and aspiration. And lastly, I promise not to give up when it gets hard. Stepping into the calling of being your wife, I promise to seek and trust in Christ no matter what life throws at us. But you are beautiful like I've never seen.